One of my mentors when I was actually in high school, a, a Jewish guy named Jack Lackman, he told me something, and I don't know if he was a prophet or if he was um, really directing me, but he, I told him when I graduated, I said, I'm going to pay you back for all that you've given me. And he laughed at me and he turned around and said, he said, you don't get it. He said, one day you're going to be in a position where you can help other people. And he said, what I expect of you is that no matter who they are, no matter what color they are, no matter where they come from, you should give them a chance and help them if you can. Even before I knew I was going to be a chemistry professor, I had sort of a general goal and desire in my life uh, growing up in the 60s and part of the civil rights era. I always dreamed about whatever I wound up doing with myself um, as a career. I wanted it to, number one, um, impact society at large, but even in a way, maybe more importantly, I wanted it to impact the black community. I got acquainted with um, the folks over here in the chemistry department, spent a summer over here doing some research, and discovered that beautiful diversity that is Georgia State University, and that we surprisingly had a larger population of minority students than almost any other school in the Southeast. I'd have to be exact. I saw it as an opportunity for me uh, to come in and be, be a role model, mentor to a huge population of students that saw too few uh, faculty that looked like them. I noticed that so many of my students had these interesting um, backgrounds and, and I started asking my students to come in and put pins in the map based on where their parents were born and it started to grow and grow and grow and we started to get um, various countries started to fill in and what makes all this worth it for you <laughs> the students the students i like to tell people that i'm not rich money-wise, but I'm extremely wealthy for the journey and the life that I've had.